Let's go to Ron in Richmond. Ron, thanks for calling. You're on the Hoffman Show. Hey, how you doing, Craig? Doing well. Thanks for calling. I have a question, and please don't take this personally, but Eric's been there one year, and it's a new system for Sam, and it's a new system for the team. Normally, it takes teams, couples, several years to be able to become proficient at, the, at a new system, right? Correct. I mean, that's normally what happens. Right? Correct. So why are we hopping on the fact that they're not scoring a hell of a lot more points, number one? Number two, I guess is the, this always perplexed the heck out of me. What qualifies you guys to question what kind of OC he is? I don't recall you being an OC for anyone or any team or having any kind of experience. I mean, you guys on the radio do it all the time. I know it's your job to be talking heads. But, I, I, you know, we can't come to your job and say, oh, Craig, you're not doing your job efficiently, you know, because you're not asking the questions that we want you to ask. And that wouldn't be fair to you. Well, that doesn't stop a lot of people, uh, Ron. Now, let me tell you what. They're, they're, this job, they, most people think anybody can do it. Well, I, I'm not going to say that because I think it takes talent. I, I, I appreciate I, that. I, I do, well, I, but I do have questions about why do sports talking heads question these guys that's been in this business for years? Now, I know some of them are more talented than others. For sure. But I don't. But I don't think that these, most of these guys are qualified to question these people. So I know you have to talk about something, right? But I well, there is that. But yeah. Rod, I will actually, but, I actually want to engage you on this question. So I'm, I'm going to try to answer it um, as best I can, and then you let me know what you think of my answer because I think this is actually a very important question for our entire industry. So I'm not going to take it personally here. Um, but here's the way I would answer it: one. Um, I do think there is a responsibility that not everyone in my industry agrees with for us to actually know what we're talking about. I have never called plays. I've never worked for an NFL team. That is for sure. But like, I've done a lot of talking to people who have, I've done a lot of reading on my own. Like I, there's a lot of people that have put in a lot of work and I've tried to surround myself with them and ask questions. And, you know, I, I have tried to become as much of a subject matter expert as I can to have some foothold to at least ask the right questions. So that would be step one. Not everyone is like that. There's some people that come at it from more of a fan perspective and they do very well at that. I, I take a much more like subject matter expertise approach. That's a personal choice. So that would be thing one. Thing two is uh, there are depths to these criticisms that I think it's important for us to stay in our lane. For me, my lane is to be able to look at the results and how they were achieved and ask questions and say, hey, this doesn't make sense to me. And as I talk to the Logan Paulsons or, you know, the other po folks that I know, analysts, you know, people around the league, whatever, they often are like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Or you look at the history and you go, there's no historical precedent for this. You know, teams don't win running the ball as uh, as rarely as the commanders do, for instance, to go to do a very simple one, that is a very different level of knowledge and expertise than it takes to solve the problem. I would never, ever say I could go call a game. Like, it is hard to spit out a play. Nevertheless, to think, okay, what's what play do I want to run based off the situation? I've done all this homework all week. You know, it's third and whatever. And that's why I always say it's a lot easier when the play clock's not running from the comfort of our couch than it is Eric on the headset on the sideline. I totally respect that I can't do his job. But that doesn't mean I can't have questions about the way he does it, the approaches he takes, some of the decisions that he's made, especially when we're now, what are we, 12 games into a season, and we've seen the results compared to okay. what we think they're capable of and, and kind of some of those, again, ha pass, uh, the way other people do them and, and past historical precedent. Okay. All right. But let me, let me just say, let me just, because you're going to hang up on me in a minute. But let's, let's, let's be cognizant of the fact that everybody has different philosophies too okay for sure so you can you can ask paulson one thing paulson's philosophy may not be the same as eb's okay totally. so but you said you ask questions but when i hear you you're not asking questions you're giving your opinion well that's my and job with your opinion yeah i understand that i understand that but it's still i mean even if i I can get opinions on uh, the Secretary of State and how they do their job, right? 
for sure. Right. And I can give my opinion on it, and I can do all the research, you know, about the different countries that they deal with. But if I'm not actually doing it and I'm not actually privy to some of the things that go on, I'm not qualified to do that. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm I, th- I think that's why I try to caveat things at times with saying, like, I don't have all the information. If all I did was remind you guys that right. I don't have all the information, like, that wouldn't be a very good show. Um, but it's like part of the thing. And I appreciate the fact that you at least have the critical thinking skills to acknowledge that versus, uh, some of the YouTube comments, for instance, that I get on a very regular basis where people think they can fix the commander's entire organization in say a YouTube comment. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. So there, there's, there's well, levels here, but like, I do think that there, there are times where I'm going to say like, I don't know why this thing happened, but it's clearly that was a bad result. I would like to know more. There are some times where I'll just be like, this thing needs to happen. I don't know how to make it. For instance, they need to figure out how to get Terry McLaurin the ball more. Why he's not getting right. it, I don't I don't have well, all of those well, answers, okay. but like that's something well, that I feel strongly about. Let me just finish by saying this. Sure. This is he's he's been doing this not even a whole year, correct? Well, he just told you he's been doing it six. But in Washington, yes, he's well, been no, doing it no, less than a year. Let me say it in Washington. In Washington. Now, a lot with, from what I understand, dealing with uh, uh, playing, at, playing sports at a high level, you have to learn your personnel and, and their abilities. And then you have to match it to what you're trying to do. Sure. And not the opposite. There's some, some coaches that try to make players fit what they want, you know, putting a square peg in a round hole. Mm-hmm. So all I'm saying is, this is a this is he hasn't been doing it quite a year. So let's give him an opportunity to learn his players, understand his players. Hopefully they don't have anybody that stabbed him in the back because if I, if I recall, uh, at some point they were saying he was too tough and whatever. Yeah, there was all but that stuff at the asking, beginning of the year. Yeah, but all I'm asking is guys, give him an opportunity to actually try to put his system together to fit what he has in Washington. And then if that doesn't work, if he doesn't get another year, it, well, he knows the business he's in. For sure. So he won't get another shot. For, For sure. But, Ron, here, here would be my last thing, and I do have to let you go because part of my job is also managing the clock, and uh, we're, uh, we're up against it. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to make appreciate this point with, with you, but I appreciate your call a lot. Um, I think you took a very uh, human and humane approach to – uh, asking why I get to sit in this chair, and I appreciate that because it's it's actually something that I think is important to remind all of us in this sports media ecosystem um, for a long time or all, frequently. I'd also say this that just because people have done it doesn't mean they actually are good at it. Um, you know, by nature, a lot of the coaches and former, or at least a lot of the former coaches that sit in the media chairs, do they know more than me? Sure, but if they were crushing it at the coach thing, they wouldn't be sitting in a media chair. That's the nature of it. Um, so take that for what it's worth. But my, my thing with specific to Eric and this offense is Sam Howell was a known commodity in terms of the sack stuff coming out of North Carolina. And it was very, uh, very obvious early this year and probably to a trained eye in training camp that the sack thing could be an issue. And there didn't seem to be a plan for that, that I don't know how many weeks you need to change what you're doing there. And the other side of it on the McLaren thing is like, everyone knows he's the best player on the team. If you if you do anything, in, including looking at the salary cap table, you know McLaren's the best player on the team. So the lack of feature for him and figuring out how to do that, like, yes, is there an adaptability period to really understand, oh, I see why Terry struggles with this and excels with that. And like, could that take time? Yes. But the second Kevin O'Connell got to Minnesota, Justin Jefferson got 15 targets a game. Christian McCaffrey got traded midseason to San Francisco and scored a touchdown in every single game, damn near, for the last year and a half. So there's a part of what wins in this league is the speed to do this stuff. Does it take time? Yes. But how quickly can you get from we're just figuring each other out to we're at a really good level that's only going to get better. And I feel like they haven't gotten to that really good level where other other schemes, coaches, personnel fits, et cetera, get there faster. These games count. And that that to me is is part of the answer to Ron's very good, astute question. 
What's up, kiddos? It's your boy Clinton Yates from ESPN. It's the Hoffman Show on the Team 980. Tell your mama I said what's up.